Good evening. A Victorian truck driver is facing jail time over a horrific crash near Murray Bridge which killed a well-respected Mount Gambier school teacher. Father of six, Kenneth Pillar, claims he had a coughing fit before his prime mover collided head-on with the innocent woman's car on the Swanport Bridge. Her car crushed beneath a prime mover in a horror impact. 61-year-old Mary Dowdle didn't stand a chance. The beloved Mount Gambier mother, grandmother and teacher lost in an instant. Anyone who's made a contribution over 26 years to a school um, is somebody who will always have been uh, loved by lots of students and it will be sadly missed by the school community. It's alleged a semi-trailer laden with bags of cement had veered onto the wrong side of the Prince's Highway and narrowly missed one car before colliding head-on with the victims just after 6.30 last night. We just heard the big bang, yeah, just a big bang, just like thunder. A uh, bang and then, yeah, it was just a huge bang and then a cloud of dust, we saw this big glow. The truck's driver, 54-year-old Kenneth Piller from Camperdown in Victoria, today fronted court via video link, charged with causing death by dangerous driving. His partner and his boss were in Murray Bridge for the hearing. We're just sad for the events of what happened. That's, you know, we, it's just a shocking thing that's happened. The driver's lawyer says Mr Piller had driven the route many times before and yesterday's crash was a one-off tragic accident possibly caused by a coughing fit he was having at the time. Prosecutors opposed bail claiming the father of six was a flight risk and could interfere with the investigation. The magistrate chose to keep him in custody pending a bail inquiry report. It certainly is horrific and very tragic. Um, it's, for those that know the location on the Swanport Bridge, it's a two-way uh, there's nowhere to go if uh, something does go wrong. I don't know why they don't build a, uh, another lane, uh, another part of the bridge and have it two ways. Something needs to be done to make sure it doesn't happen again. Ben Avery joins us now from the Swanport Bridge accident scene. And Ben, the damage caused by the accident has prompted temporary safety measures there. Yeah, it has, Brenton. The speed limit's been reduced down to 25 kilometres an hour and there's a number of temporary barriers in place. Where around 70 metres worth of guardrail was ripped out by the semi-trailer in the crash last night. Now, in the hours after the accident, the entire bridge had to be blocked off, which meant there was a massive backlog of cars and semi-trailers waiting to get across the bridge and in most cases they had to decide on a different route to try and get to the other side of the river. But uh, certainly the good news tonight is that both lanes of traffic have now been reopened uh, and what that means is that motorists are just being urged to stick to the 25 kilometre an hour speed limit. Brenton. Ben Avery, thank you.